check with forensics like you asked. They're still putting together their report in the carbon monoxide poisoning. Light a fire under them. All right, we're not going to get Manning without evidence. Which Manning? I don't care. They're both guilty. You want me to spill my guts here? Now? And they could totally be listening. Okay. Don't be paranoid. You're one to talk. Jack, listen to me. You are safe. This conversation is privileged, meaning no one can use what you say here against you. Yeah, all right? but I, you don't have a choice. Your father's right. Until he's released, there is nowhere else the three of us can discuss a strategy for keeping you out of prison. Could that really happen? Gigi Marasco is brain dead. Unless a miracle occurs, you could very likely be charged with murder. God, the... What'd I miss? Releasing him. So I guess this means that you haven't found Marty and you can't prove that I had anything to do with our escape. No statute of limitations on this one, buddy, and for you, I got all the time in the world. Okay, do you mind, uh... Yeah, I mind. We're gonna have a little chat about your son. It's not my fault what happened to Jack. Gigi. Please release my husband. Oh, he can't, uh, can't be released until his paperwork is cleared. What's the holdup? Well, it seems the uh, paperwork has gone missing, so, uh, hey, what do you say we use this time productively? What do you say, Jack? What business do you have with my stepson? Well, it's the business about the problems that Jack had at the high school with Shane Marasco. Where are you getting your information, John? The girls' locker room? The Landview High School administration has never suspended or even disciplined Jack Manning for any reason whatsoever. It is my understanding that the same thing cannot be said for Shane Marasco. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think Shane got all into all that trouble on his own, though. Well, since when do you care? Since Gigi wound up brain dead because of your son's problems. The way we see it, Gigi was lured to a trap that was meant for Shane. Jack here did the luring. Let me get this sh Is that really how you're going to play it, John? You can't get at me directly, so you go through my son. Has any accusation been made against Jack? Rex Balsam's come forward. Oh, I can't wait for that idiot to take a stand. It won't come to that. That's right, because Jack didn't do anything. Is that it, Jack? You didn't do anything? You know, kid, we're, um... We're finding a lot of evidence in that basement where Gigi was found. Hair. Fibers. Fingerprints. We're tracing the ISP address from the computer that sent Shane that invitation. Sounds like you have a whole lot of nothing. Maybe. Maybe, Counselor, but you know, when that forensic report comes back, I have a funny feeling it's going to be pointing to just one person. So what do you say, Jack? I think it's about time you tell us your side of the story. We appreciate your offer, but we'll decline to parley until you can present us with some, hell, any flimsy evidence of wrongdoing. Until that time, the police and my client will have no further communication. Oh, okay. Mr. Manning's discharge papers. Excellent. Oh, good. This is goodbye. Yeah. Oh. You know, I just, I need to find that damn handcuff key. Please, John, give it a rest. Yeah, it could be anywhere. I, never mind. I, give me a minute. You made this. Hey, that was great. You totally kicked John's ass. Feel better if you're out of those cuffs. What happens when he gets that report he was talking about? <sighs> Depends on what it says. Hopefully, it will be inconclusive. Well, what if it isn't? It's a good thing you got your old man to bail you out. But what if Shane's mom gets better? It's possible, isn't it? The likelihood of that is slim. Yeah, but if she did, there'd be no murder charge, and everything would be okay, right? Hey, it could happen. Look at Matthew Buchanan. It's not likely, but yes, Jack, miracles do happen, and let's hope for everyone's sake that Gigi gets one. Hey! Found the key. And if you only find Marty. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, uh, Jack. Mm. That forensic port. It won't be much longer. I'll be seeing you real soon. You too, counselor. No, uh -huh. Did you hear what McBain said? Yes. Don't worry about it. He's just trying to scare you into talking. But I don't want you to shut up. Let me handle everything. Actually, I won't need to lift a finger, right? You're going to take care of everything. Mm. 